Last Stand is the first in a new series of modern family drama that explores the battle of wills between father and son. It was written by Sefi Atta and performed in Terra Culture, Lagos. The crowd gathers to buy tickets. And as they take their seats, they are getting set for a thrilling display of talent. The play, titled The Last Stand by author and playwright Sefiata, is a tale of betrayal, conflict, love, hurt, repentance in a family. A terminally ill retired general faces a dilemma of picking an heir for his vast estate. His sister, who spends her days taking care of him, tries to give advice the best way she can. She also doubles as a mediator with the children. The plot thickens as the general's first wife is adamant that her child should be the chosen one and makes this known in the manner their relationship knows best. Under Sharia law and customary law, I am entitled to take other wives. Not girlfriends! Sharia law does not permit a man to have dirty girlfriends. If you are a witch for a wife, I told you not. <laughs> His estranged son, a doctor based in the United Kingdom, refuses to have anything to do with him due to an unforgivable past. You beat her. She beats me back. <laughs> <laughs> How many men beat women? Whoever said that doesn't know African women. <laughs> Torn between emotions, the audience is held spellbound. The playwright soaks in intently the play and crowd acceptance. Start with your most recent. Start with today. <laughs> Who have I seen the list today? Uh, that one. <laughs> I was only joking with you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what you have put there. Ah, what did I do? The daughter, in the meantime, struggles to win the love of her father. <laughs> then there is the third wife, who is anything but sincere. In the end, the son turns out to be exactly like his father and settles it all. So tell me, Dottie, how did you manage to convince me to change his mind? Ah, oh, me. See, no. see, I said he's too early to talk about No! I just want to know. See, those were his final words according to Dottie. <laughs> he admitted they had done everyone. He said he wants Viola in charge of his estate. Ah! How did Dottie be? I did what he would. I am, after all, his son.
The play is rousingly approved. Morals flow from the audience. We were able to see all those different things evolve in the life of one man and learn a lot about what people cover up and what people, um, you know, what people deal with in the innermost parts of their lives and in the most desperate times of their lives. So I thought it was interesting. It was a good picture of reality and a slice of um, what we experience as Africans as well. It was brilliant the way the characters were brought to life. I thought the story was very, very uh, telling of the times that we're in, you know. And the references to the people who have been killed or who were killed by this dictator, you know, just reminds me that this is our story today. The director and cast also bear their thoughts on the experience. It's all been fun. Uh, what works, what doesn't work. We've had four different people playing Rotimi. This is the fourth person. We've had two different people playing Mashud. This is the third person. So it's, it's been um, some of the characters. Teller didn't come into place Teller. She came in to play Moria. <laughs> so it's been, it's been like uh, something like uh, something in motion. Uh, so, okay, we, are, we kept adjusting, adjusting, adjusting until everybody, uh, most people were able to carve a niche for themselves within the play. And we can only be grateful for that. The ability for the mediator to bring um, the people together, resolve issues, is key. And I am glad, I think I did. I did that. I did justice to that role. And for those out there who seem to be going through this kind of situation, like what happened on stage, I just say be strong and keep doing what you're doing. Keep your head up and make sure every minute that comes to you, you treasure it and make the best use of it. I see such in, in our society as well, in homes and families, where parents, either the father or the mother, make decisions that affect their children one way or the other. Decisions positively, negatively, it affects these children. So I believe it's important for us to have that value in our homes, understand the value and make sure we imbibe this value to our children so that at the end of the day, they won't turn around as um, more like as our enemies and kill us, <laughs> just the same way the doctor did. There are certain decisions uh, people make and you might think uh, it might not have that uh, after effect immediately and then uh, but subsequently it might be uh, where that person might not even be alive when some of these uh, uh, these things uh, repercussions will start uh, coming up for the playwright it's all about telling a good story i write with an audience in mind not because they w might dictate to me how i write but because i need to tell the stories. And maybe I just have storyteller in my blood. There were people like that in the villages and who still exist, who were just born to tell stories. The importance of love becomes more pronounced towards the end of life. And because conflicts cannot be avoided, we all should seek ways to mend fences before it's too late for any type of stand. Art is the lie that enables us to realize the truth. You must have chaos within you to give birth to a dancing star. <laughs> Mama so kyo zara ita kanabom